The elegant geometry of the early Wiener Werkstätte reappears in the great portrait series that Klimt began in the year 1905. But something very different and very new is taking place here. For all its seductive splendor, the painting vibrates with tension. Its nervous energy reflects the sitter's state of mind more than the details of the room in which she's sitting. It's as though the swirling patterns, once securely anchored in the separate reality of wall, chair and dress, have now come alive, displacing the fading physical presence of the wealthy socialite who clasps her hands in an anxious gesture. Klimt opens the door upon a vast new universe, the ultimate source of our deepest fears and most secret desires. The unconscious is a true psychic reality. In its innermost nature, it is as much unknown to us as the reality of the external world. Klimt's great subject, like Freud's, is sexuality. Again and again, his simultaneous delight in and fear of the female body are expressed as a tension between two opposites youth and age, death and life, the desire for eternal union and the fear of losing oneself in the other. His best work thrives on contradiction. The clear-eyed glance of Athena, goddess of wisdom, above the demented mask of the Bacchanalian reveler Silenus. Who, Clint seems to ask, can give us access to the truth? The chaste goddess of reason, or the drunkenly leering satyr, half man, half beast? 